coach Laura coming at you. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we are making egg donuts and this is a super, super simple, easy recipe that everyone can do at home. They're packed of protein. We have the, the nutrients with the choline, with the egg yolks, and they're very versatile. You can eat them on the go, on a meal. So let's get started. Okay, what you will need are four eggs and 400 milliliters of egg whites. Um, or you can, it's about 12 egg whites if you'd rather do that. But this is so easy, you pour it from, you pour it from a cart. Okay, so one of the keys here is something that's pourable. Now I do have measuring cups, glass measuring cups that have the pour, pour spout. However, I have found that something that is pliable pours better into the mold. So as you can see here, I have a a donut pan that has 12 molds here you can use anything you can use silicone um a, a silicone tray you can use mini muffins whatever you want so this recipe makes 12 um, donut sized egg whites okay so what we will do crack four eggs into your pliable container i'm just gonna put them in there and this is really, it's, it's family friendly. My, my kid can bring these to school, which I pack in lunch. So again, just cracking four eggs. If I had the, the talent of cracking with one hand, I would do that, but I do not. And eggs are kind of messy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and crack four eggs into my pliable container. That's it, that's all. And if you got an egg shell in there, you just pull it out. Hey, this is real life. Okay, so I have four eggs in my pliable container. I am going to pour, I have a, I have my scale here and I'm going to measure out 400 milliliters, which is essentially 400 grams of egg whites. I'm just going to pour it in there really quickly. And yes, this does seem like a lot, but you just pour it in there. And what we're gonna do is we're going to, okay, so my, this is a 750 gram, no affiliate with, with Oikos, I'm just using this. Okay, salt and pepper, that's all you can do. Now, this is where the fun part begins. You can add anything you want, you can add, mozzarella cheese, we have cheddar cheese, you can use any sort of herbs, spices, hot sauce, anything that you want to add. I'm just keeping this really, really, really basic and simple for today. Another key to this recipe and anything that I, I use this on a daily basis, it is one of those kitchen gadgets that you that is kind of a must have it's so inexpensive and it's also so versatile with a lot of things so i'm just going to go in here put on the highest setting and just whip this up and if it's not whipped up perfectly that's fine the egg yolks might still come out in clumps but again you can spend more time just whisking this up depending on how much time you have just whisking this up it doesn't take any time at all and if you what i would what i would recommend is whisking the eggs before you add anything in it so if you add cheese afterwards, um, do it after you, you whisk the eggs just to avoid any sort of um, clumping. Now with you, if you do add something that's a little bit heavier, it does tend to sink to the bottom of the container. So just be mindful of that. You might have to um, stir it up uh, as, as soon as you dump it in. Okay, so this is pretty full. I am going to take my donut mold and I'm just going to pour the contents into each mold. Now this is the reason I have a pliable container so that it can actually go in there really, really nicely like that. Now when you do bake these, I just want to pre-warn you that they, they puff up and then they shrink back down. So they'll puff up and it looks like, oh, those are going to be quite big. And then they deflate a little bit. So I just wanted to um, warn you about that. It's like, oh, those look nice and fluffy and then they, they do kind of go down a bit. Um, so when we, I have the oven set at 350 degrees, <clears throat> it takes about 15 to 20 minutes for them to bake there. It's beautiful. It They are, you can see some of the, 
the yolks. I could have spent more time to whisk those in. But um, it, this is a recipe that fits this mold quite nicely. And again, putting these in the oven, 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your oven, they'll pop up and then they will plate and then I'll show you the finished product. And I'm back. Okay, the finished product is right here. So I baked them in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I let them cool in the pan for 10 minutes. This is very important because what will happen is that they will retract from the mold and they won't be stuck. Because eggs, if you work with them frequently, even just egg, egg whites, they like to stick to the pan. So it's very important to let them cool in the pan before you take them out and flip them onto a cooling rack. So I just take the pan, put the cooling rack, cooling rack on top, flip it over, take the rack, uh, take the, put the rack on the, on the counter and let them cool and there you go. Protein packed and these are super, super simple. Again, you can add any sort of spices, cheese, onion, um, anything that you want and have them for a handy snack, put them on salads and send them to school with your kiddos. All right, that's it, enjoy.